one of the remaining abses. This is going to be something. This is going to be a whole lot of something. It's going to be a whole lot of interesting going on here. This is a potentially huge win for Ura, and this is a potentially groundbreaking top eight if Penguin doesn't manage to come forward. Penguin doesn't make this top eight. This Then Taps 5 has a, become a... A, a wild west of... <laughs> yeah, no, this, is a, this is a hell of a top eight to, to join, and the fact that there's even a question about Penguin being in it, in spite of being the first seed. See what he can do as he's changing his music, trying to set the optimal conditions for himself. Meanwhile, uh, Amaska's Claren is vibing bound, uh, in the... She do be moving. In the future, where Schmoofman Look at her go. Well. In, in the future, Schmoofman has been all but forgotten. <laughs> Again, great comic series. <laughs> it's, rather, it's good comic series. You could argue that Claren's characterization is not on point. Yes, I care about this shit. <laughs> and listen, Rivals lore goes deep. And Rivals lore like, goes hard. Over the past couple of years, like the, the Rivals team has been putting a ton of effort to expanding that to uh, other games. For sure. I mean, we see it with uh, Dungeons coming out oh. at some point. You know. And then there's Creatures of Aether, the card game. Yes, uh, which includes not only Malo, but also our Gardua, who is, I think, the a character made with the workshop. It was made by the Rivals team, but with the workshop tools. Yes. So The it's... idea was for Gardua to like showcase what could be done right. with the workshop. And it's still such a shame that Gardua is not in like the definitive version. I feel so bad. She's so cool. Oh. <sighs> I'm just right. going to leave that at that. <laughs> we don't get to throw bamboo nope. in this house. I'll no pandas. bombs instead. No pandas allowed. When there's a panda... Oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see it happen. Yeah. Sparks are flying as we got Penguin versus Uda to get into top eight. Oh, the tech in was red, though. As if there's any set that can go... Uh, if there's any player that can make a set go poorly quickly, it's going to be Penguin up against Uda here. It's just the... Uda has going to have a hell of a time trying to consistently anti-air the, uh, the uh, Penguin's mo uh, flexible movement. Meanwhile, Kyron, known for her range, not really for her speed. Yeah, but when you can play from half a stage away comfortably, like you've True. got very little to worry about against the likes of Clarin. But there was a cute little finisher to that, get that damage up and... Ooh. All of a sudden, it's looking like a tied game. It only took a couple of interactions for Uda to put the same numbers on the board that Penguin has, and there's down smash near forward air. No forward strong to speak of it, but... Yeah, oh, comes down with the backer quickly, though, and that will do it for this uh, for the first stock of this first game. Let's see how much Penguin can offer here, because right now the game is sitting in a very interesting position for Uda, who they very much are sitting on a, if I get this hit, I need to take it for a mile because Penguin's not going to give me so many of those opportunities. Nor will Absa. Yeah, in general, it's just like fighting through a wall that you can't even, like... It's not like one of those distanced characters where you can commit to the no fun allowed zone and call it a day. Like, there's still a lot of ways for Penguin to control space regardless if that counter goes off. So Uda just has to commit to solid movement and making smart decisions. Peppering back and forth. Another fair... Or another fair into back air. Going to just... Prepping with so much damage, but the down air and yeah. here it hits them for so long. Penguin finds a huge way to keep this lead intact, and Penguin with a lead is seemingly much more comfortable as we're bouncing back and forth with some of these nares. All right, hits oh. after hits after hits. It feels like Oda is just like spending more time in hits done than actually like sure. spending time in neutral. <laughs> It's tough, but while you can retreat to this platform, you're still not in exactly neutral with some of the with some of the placements and scrambles seem to feed, uh, fade into some uh, some dash attacks. Oh, there's one though. Ooh, for two, but not able to find the f uh, the the right hit of some of these fares. Bouncing back and forth, we'll trying to see if uh, Uda would overextend. Not so, but he does so Ooh. there. If not on the platform, then when he had to recover from low, as that fair is well perfectly spaced. And that is game one going on. It's kind of tough to say like what Uda needs to adjust to in order to oh, yeah. like, come out on top here, because Penguin just positions so quickly with these devastating aerials. 
Yeah, spirit he's... tree. It's gambling time. I love all the spirit tree picks that we're seeing today, and Claren can cash it so heavily on this stage. Sharking with down air and then just having seamless movement from your offstage to onstage play can make this so good for Claren. Yeah, not only is the stage layout so good for her offensively, but any stage that has the lip of a platform go under, go um, over the over the blast zone, go off the stage, means that Claren has at the very least one extra recovery mix-up going high to the platform. Doesn't matter in this breadth of open stage in the middle against Abs's level of control, maybe not immediately. Vertical kill options, man. They're just so, yeah. so consistent. Love that DI out of the reverse hit a forward air, though. Just get out. Whew, again. Nope. 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 Yep. nope. That's it. As, as penguin just is playing with fire right oh, now. Like, this is absolutely a penguin trying to prove something. Part of what can be so threatening about these uh, a really amazing player going into losers early is now that they ha they have a lot of sets to work on things and and, uh, and to reset their mentality. Of like, all right, time to get a little confidence back in a lot of really strong placements and going against players that I know I have a solid set history with. And Penguin it looks like he's getting back into the groove. You know, it's it's a very strong meta aspect that doesn't really get talked about a lot. Uh, but like the fact that you are the first seed, like you came here to win. Oh, yeah. And the moment that that gets jeopardized ever so slightly, like the blood's in the water. Like, you have a lot more work and a lot less certainty ahead of you. But, it, you know, Penguin's whole... done it before. He's <laughs> also done that before, so... I've done that too many times to count. Oh, and not again. Oh, get sent the wrong hit to Penguin. God. <laughs> just... We're, we're just watching Penguin work. Yeah, it's kind of brutal, and... And Uda's a really, like, this is ninth place. Like, Uda's a really good player. But it it can show that there is top five or so, even if you want to be really specific, like the top three. Are Ooh, just the on the grab a, and the throwing into the forward air is all right. But Uda keeps fighting. No matter what the odds are, he will keep on fighting. Like, even though statistically it's not looking so hot, he's still in the bracket. Oh, yeah. He's at ninth place. Like, you're not done until you've lost, and he ain't lost yet. Got the clip, too. That was a really nice yeah. use of the command grab. This is a really good stage for Claren. Oh, but mistimes the counter. Wasn't That's able to set up the no-fun zone. Okay, bye. Yeah, no, we out. <laughs> we like are a, so I, out. I see your disjoint, and I say I'm over here. <laughs> Like he, Penguin's got a lead. Don't, he don't got to commit to nothing. He is playing like it. How little do I have to mess with you until you make a mistake? Plus, like, Ooh, at the end there. of the day, this is still Claren playing on the ledge. Like, you really can't play oh, yeah. so cocksure when you have Claren potentially tossing out forward strong on you. Like, whatever into forward strong at these middling percentages is still disastrous. And if it happens twice, all of a sudden that's a game that... You know, it just goes potentially to Uda. Yeah. Being too... Being too... Of, getting confidence is one thing. Being too overconfident is another. As, I do you know, Penguin. Movement, though. Penguin do be schmoovin'. Standing still I mean, fast. Hey, listen, you, you, you said it first. In the future, <laughs> which movement is outlawed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he still rattled in that platform just a little bit. Gets the Thunderline, but oh, okay, hello there. And that's what you get for being silly. Yeah. Now, like, mind if you're you, gonna that's... do, if you're gonna play like it's training mode, then you know, stop. <laughs> I guess. Oh, hello. Uh, there you are. Yeah, that's tough. That's that's Penguin when he's no business Penguin. Just yeah. He's in the collared shirt. Like he's he's here. He's clocked in. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. We got our three zero. Yeah. I mean. I guess we need we needed a little. No offense, Uda, of course, great player, ninth place. Not even a little bit of a bad thing, but we needed I, a breather. We needed a breather after. That yeah, after, after the after the frog on frog violence yeah. we oh witnessed in the after previous Lu set. Yeah, Lucius Dry was nuts.